Every time you catch a flight, you're adding a significant number of planet warming gases to the atmosphere. And that only adds to the problem of climate change. The best thing to do is to just not fly. So if you are going to fly, what little things can you do in order to reduce your carbon footprint? Every item on a plane makes it heavier. Usually the heavier the plane, the more fuel is needed. So when you're packing, think about whether you really need to take all that stuff. Planes use the most fuel when they're taking off and when they're landing. If you can fly direct to where you're heading, your carbon footprint will be smaller than if you go via another airport. A study by the World Bank shows that if you fly in business or first class, your emissions are at least three times more than if you decided to fly in economy. Here, the seats are smaller and it means that more people can be flown about by the same amount of fuel. Some airlines produce more carbon emissions than others, worth bearing in mind when you book your flight. If you travel by car to airports that are further away from your home, you're creating more emissions than using your local airport. There are dozens of online calculators which can help you balance out your share of emissions from your flight by investing in environmental projects around the world. Some people say that doing these things doesn't really tackle the bigger problem. It just reduces it ever so slightly. But others say, well, it's better than doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs>